G'day Ice Cream Lovers, well here at the show and again all around the UK there's a huge segment of the ice cream industry, it's called the mobilers or the ice cream vans that are outside all of the major monuments, parks, amusement parks and the ones that run around the neighbourhood like the ones that I remember growing up as a kid, stealing mum's uh, money off the duchess running out catching the ice cream van. Well one name that's synonymous with ice cream vans not only here in the UK but all around the world is Whitby Morrison. Uh, the good folks at Whitby Morrison and Antonio who we're going to be speaking to know so much about the industry and their technology in enabling mobilers or ice cream vendors to basically take the show on the road is absolutely outstanding. So we're going to spend a little bit of time with Antonio taking us through the paces and the new features and benefits of their brand new ice cream van here. Hi Steve, it's nice to see you again. Um, I'm Antonio, the sales manager at Whitby Morrison and Whitby Morrison of course as you know are famous for making um, the world's best uh, ice cream vans. What we've got for you here today is the very latest Mondial Lusso version built on a Mercedes Sprinter of course um, and as you know this features um, the Whitby Morrison uh, unique selling point, the USP that we have which is the uh, Whitby Morrison Direct Drive. Now the Whitby Morrison Direct Drive um, is a uh, addition to the Mercedes engine that we make that will power the soft ice cream machine. Without the need to get too technical, Steve, of course, Sam, um, uh, the Direct Drive is directly um, attached to the crankshaft pulley, the Mercedes engine, and via an electromagnetic clutch gives a drive to the machine inside the, um, the ice cream van. Obviously we'll see the, um, the bodywork. Um, each van that we make is uh, completely different and is always based on the requests and what the customer requires. So many, many different colours, many, many different um, designs and names. Um, but they all start off with the same principle. Um, the fibreglass bodywork, of course, is what we um, make and add to the Mercedes chassis cab. Um, we place that on and then all the refrigeration equipment on the inside um, again due to um, how the customer orders it. Um, we take a quick look that's the very latest um, Carpigiani Rapida 2 um, the highest single flavour output machine that we've ever used for an ice cream van and bear in mind that that does work directly off the Mercedes engine. So in other words, as long as you've got fuel in the, in the um, tank, you can drive wherever you need to, wherever the people are, start the machine and start serving ice cream. Remember, that's a very, very high output machine. So um, if everything is working correctly, in the UK, we've, t we've measured that at about 600 cones per hour, every hour, as long as you've got diesel in the tank. Um, you'll notice that this, this machine here, apart from the extensive shelving, which again is down to the customer, um, has got a um, Whitby Morrison power pack, which I'll show you a little bit more detail when we get inside the van. But the um, very latest Whitby Morrison adapted slush machine, um, this one being a two flavoured slush machine. Hi Steve, uh, again, well obviously we're on the inside of the vehicle now. Um, you've probably noticed this particular vehicle is right-hand drive for the UK market, but as, as you know, uh, you will find Whitby Morrison vans all over the world. Um, we have quite an extensive um, range of vans that we make on the uh, with a left-hand drive. Um, many vans now um, are made with an automatic gearbox, but again, like the, uh, like the exterior, um, it's always down to the customer preference and what the customer wants. As we walk into the van, of course, the slush machine that I mentioned before, um, this one is a two flavor or a two bowl slush machine, very high output, um, but the modifications that we make to the side as well that improves both freezing and ventilation and getting rid of the hot air makes it a much, much more efficient machine than it starts off with. Again, this is made by um, Carpigiani B. GBG um, that before we, we make the Whitby Morrison modifications just to tweak that to tweak that little bit more um, output out of it. Um, as we scan along the van, um, this particular one, tills, um, shelving, 
all built to customer requests. Um, more importantly, perhaps, um, freezer to the rear. Uh, that can be used often for um, scooping gelato, so that's thermostatically controlled. Um, or the storage of pre-packed impulse products, things like Magnums and Cornettos and Twisters. Um, single sales items. On the other hand, um, along with the sinks, we have the chiller compartment. The chiller compartment, as the name suggests, isn't usually um, required to pull down to temperature as cold as the rear freezer. So the rear freezer, again, which is thermostatically controlled, typically will be set at minus 24 degrees centigrade, minus 25, um, whereas the chiller usually is required a temperature of zero, plus one, plus two, to usually keep cold drinks and water for individual sales cold. Um, and secondly, um, to keep the slush mix, if it's already pre-mixed, and indeed the soft ice cream machine uh, mix, chilled and cold, but chilled throughout the day. They both work on um, a holdover system, so uh, it requires an overnight charge just plugged into the mains electricity, mm -hmm. and then during the day it's designed to release that coldness, thus keeping the products that's inside at that constant chilled or frozen temperature. As we move to the other side of the van, um, we have the uh, everybody's favourite, which is the soft ice cream machine. This is the very latest Carpegiani Rapida 2. Um, these machines were developed in conjunction with Carpegiani and Whitby Morrison um, together for the sole specific purpose of making a high output machine that works directly off the engine. And as I said before, this one is in the region of an output of 600 cones per hour, every hour, going through that window and the money going in that till. It features the bank of warning lights as well as two digital um, uh, thermometers. The first um, is so that you can keep an eye on the temperature of the mix inside the hopper. And the second one, um, you can keep an eye on uh, the temperature of the ice cream within the freezing cylinder. So that obviously you're always in a position to pull the ice cream at the correct temperature. Uh, most importantly, and this was a feature from the Rapida 1, um, the magic eye to the center of the machine. The magic eye, when the machine is set on the, in the magic eye position, makes the machine uh, an automatic machine. So in other words, as long as the engine is running, of course, the machine will freeze down and reach the correct freezing temperature of the ice cream being ready, and then it will turn itself off. As a customer comes along and you pick up a cone for their order and it, you brush it or wave it in front of the magic eye, the machine engages, it allows you to pull and serve that ice cream and then as you're giving it over to the customer it will continue the freezing cycle and when the, when the cycle is finished and the ice cream is ready it will switch itself off automatically. Right, okay, so you heard me of course, um, after the machine, the other big sales um, outlet for this particular van is the slush machine, which we spoke about before. Now the slush machine, again, with um, the aid of the, um, the engine, the Mercedes engine, and the alternator, will run directly without the requirement of being plugged into mains electricity, and of course, the whole point of all of that is that it remains and we remain truly mobile. We can go where the customers are to serve them ice cream and slush as long as we've got fuel in the tank. Um, that The slush machine works because of the power pack. Now again, this is quite a, um, a, a big feature of Whitby Morrison and has been for the uh, past five or six years. And the power pack is obviously based on the, the principle that we have a, a storage facility of electricity, um, the two deep cycle batteries that you see here, and an inverter. And basically, whatever power the slush machine is drawing out of that system, as long as the engine is running, is being replaced mm. by the alternator. The alternator, of course, produces the 12 volt current, goes into the um, batteries, the batteries feed that to the inverter, the inverter changes it to 240 volts, or would be 115 in the, um, mm -hmm. in the States, um, and then through a series of plugs and sockets, 
will feed any electrical equipment up to a certain limit of course. On this particular occasion um, it's a slush machine but it could just as easily be a, something like a coffee machine or candy floss. Other nice features, nice touches um, on this particular van of course um, we have a, a reversing camera um, with a colour screen. Um, as soon as the reversing gear is selected um, there is a camera on the on the rear of the vehicle and the screen lights up so that the uh, driver can see any customer um, anybody to the rear of the vehicle or, or more importantly to make sure that they know no harm is done to them when the vehicle is reversing um, this particular van has got uh, extensive LED lighting underneath the shelf to the internal as well as the roof panel lights um, and I noticed just above your head um, you've got the electric roof vent which just aids the circulation of, um, of cool air in the van. Right Steve, there we go, you, you've pretty much seen the inside and the outside of the van. Um, thanks, for, thanks for allowing us to show you that. Um, if you need any more information, of course we're always there, www.whitbymorrison.com and as I say, my name's Antonio, you can always drop me a line. Well ice cream lovers, there you go. Who wouldn't want one of them? I think I'm gonna ask for one for Christmas. Absolutely outstanding. You can basically just pack up, put your ice cream mix in and go. It really is what they call here in the UK, a great piece of kit. Uh, so again, if you'd like more information about it, whitbymorrison.co.uk, the link will be down here. Keep on scooping folks, and we'll see you certainly in the next video.